I'm Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's special tutorial, we're going to be looking at the new Next Experience user interface that's included with the San Diego release in ServiceNow. From a first glance, we can see that this new UI is fantastic. It's really modern and is extremely intuitive. You can see that ServiceNow is really delivering a futuristic work experience for all users of the platform. So as you can see, when you log into the San Diego release, you'll be navigated to this brand new Next Experience landing page. From here, you can access all of the existing modules and features that were included with previous releases of ServiceNow. The difference with this new landing page is everything is nested away in a cleaner and more intuitive fashion. For example, if we navigate across the banner frame, you can see we have the All Menus section. This menu replaces the previous application navigator and contains all of your instance's applications and modules. From within this menu, you can still edit modules, favorite them, and filter results. From the banner frame, you can also access favorites, history, and available workspaces. You'll also see this new UI element called the Contextual App Pill. This element provides you with context for where you are in the instance and also allows you to favorite the current item that you're on. After this, you can see we still have the global search, which allows you to search across your instance to return results that are relevant to you. Then to the top right of this, we have the application scope and update set selector. From here, you can select the application scope you'd like to work in and the update set that you'd like to apply updates to. Then to the right of the notifications icon, we have the help icon. This module allows you to access on-demand help when needed. After this feature, we then have the phone icon. This phone icon allows you to place phone calls to other users. To the right of this, we have the notifications module, which displays notifications that you're subscribed to. This module is useful for receiving updates on items that are important to you. And then last but not least, we have the user menu. From here you can view your user profile, configure your user preferences, impersonate users, elevate your role if you're an admin, and log out. From here you can also access the preferences modal, which allows you to activate the new dark theme that is included with the San Diego release. Now that we've covered these common UI elements that are included in the Next Experience UI, let's take a quick look at how to activate this new user interface if you are upgrading to San Diego from a previous release of ServiceNow. The first thing you'll want to do is go into the application navigator and type in sys underscore properties dot list. This will take you to a list view containing all system properties. In the name column header, enter Polaris and hit enter. This will apply a filter and return all of the new Polaris UI system property records. The first item we'll want to activate is the glide.ui.polaris.experience record. Double click on the value cell for this record and set the value to true. And then the next system property you'll want to set to true is the glide.ui.polaris.dark underscore themes underscore enabled record. This step is optional, but if you do enable it, it'll allow your users to use the new dark theme that we previously looked at. Now that we've set these two system properties to true, if we refresh the page, you can see that the new Next Experience UI is present. And that is all for this tutorial on covering the Next Experience user interface in ServiceNow. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest ServiceNow tutorials. And thank you for watching.